Brothers. My name is Kenneth Burr. My company is Black Series Edition LLC. Uh, we are in the workshop. We are getting ready to spray down uh, our abstract design screen. Right now, my cat's over there losing his mind. Like, why am I in the pen? Because you're in the pen because I don't trust you with the door open. All right, so my name is Kenneth Burr. I've announced it already. Uh, company is Black Series Edition LLC, Crystal Edge Technology Screens, and our FLEBT company. Uh, we have the screen paint. We've been actually showing it up quite a bit over on a Facebook um, projector mapping community of designing a new form of screen paint to enhance your projector mapping capabilities. Now, for larger projects like buildings, um, I don't think this is actually going to work so well. Um, because again, you literally would have to change the color of the building or if we had made an invisible version of it You still literally would have a screen attached to the building because there's no way to get it off Unless you figure out some way to and I'm talking to somebody literally about this about doing an entire building is Unless you're able to get some kind of material that you can basically Taper to the building That's the only way but other than that it's just designed for small projects um, if you're doing some kind of art project, indoor, outdoor, whatever, that's what it's for. But as in building-wise, yeah, you would literally have to paint the color of the building or change it. I don't even know how to get around that, but we have to work on that. That'll be for future projects. For right now, this is for smaller stuff. Okay. Um, you own the building, then yeah, heck, you can paint the building if you want. If you own the building and it's yours and you want to project or map it, yeah, you can paint the entire building with this stuff. It'll paint on concrete, brick, whatever you want to paint it on, it'll go over it. Okay. Uh, let's begin because again, I can't put this off. Um, I have a lot of business I have to take care of the next couple of days, and it's April. April shower, bring me flowers. So yeah, it's raining outside right now. So let's get this spray down so we get some demonstrations off this, and I can show you some more on this technology. Um, paint spray is over there, and uh, cords and wires are over here. Everything's all over the place, as usual in the show I was online last night looking at another shop I told you I'm in the process of getting another shop something way way bigger something like maybe like about 15 1600 square feet because I need a big shop so I'm looking at getting a bigger shop and I found a couple of them one had a kitchen and bath for a minute now that's fantastic at least when we get make a mess in that place and we are going to make a mess in there we can get cleaned up a little bit I usually have to go over to the place over here to get cleaned up before I leave out the door. But if I have something in here, I can clean down with. Going home messy. All right, so let's get this started and get it done. Now, keep in mind, this is for projector mapping applications. Please do not buy this for your home theater use. I got to put a huge policy there. So that way, we don't have that issue. Someone using it for home theater, picking out a work. We have plenty of screen paint for that. Where the heck is my mask? Shoot in the bag. Shoot in the poor bag. Yep, the bag's the door. Now, I always tell people anytime you're spraying, I don't care if it's our stuff, any stuff at the end of the day, make sure you wear a mask because this stuff automatically becomes airborne once it comes out of the sprayer and make sure that you have plenty of ventilation. It may be water-based, just because you can roll it down and it doesn't require a mask, that's because it doesn't become airborne. Anything becomes airborne. What the heck is going on with my mask here? Let me see what's going on here for a minute. Seems to be a little twisted up here. So always make sure you got plenty of ventilation anytime you spray anything. Anything. Alright, let's go. Let's get this done. We have a lot to do today. Very busy day.
I think I might just take it this way. Yeah. So you can see how easy the application goes on. That's fast. That's how fast the application goes on. That's it. Very easy to use. You have to push hard on the paint sprayer. Very light. That's it. You'll see my weight bench over there. This is why you couldn't roll it in. I didn't want to miss that footage of me on the other side. So now I can put you guys over here. So this video will be directly on the website when you go to purchase the product. It is available now on our site. And yes, they're buying it. Because again, like I said, if you ever done projector mapping applications, See, every time I the mask I got to get the mask on. I don't want to take my mask off. But I'll explain to you why. Let's get this section over. I'll tell you later.
That's it. And like I said, if you're doing projector mapping applications, biggest problem you're going to have is the same thing like anything. You're running a projector at the end of the day. If it's a white screen, if it's a gray screen, it's not going to react right. As long as you color, you're going to definitely use contrast. It's just not going to pick up. You're going to have a whole lot of problems trying to pop up. So it works exactly the same way. People think it's different with mapping. No, it does have the same reaction if you're using white and gray screens. You can't see contrast or color. And that's one of the problems I noticed when I was over at Projector, uh, not Projector Central, over at um, Lifeform. They have a site uh, where people would go in and show off the Lifeform technology they brought. They show off exactly the um, results that they would get. And the problem that they were having was using a white or gray screen they were having a very difficult time bringing up the beautiful colors of what that projector mapping application is designed to do. So, we're going to do a simple basic demonstration. Once this is dried and done, we're going to do a simple demonstration. We're going to coat a surface. Excuse me. And we're going to put a um, white sheet of paper up there, and we're going to put a gray surface up there. We do some projector mapping off of it. i show you the problem that these what people are having when they're using projector mapping applications what happens I'm looking at these cardboard it looks like it went hits my screen I got the fan moving back and forth that's why that's supposed to be like that you'll see where it's not going to pick up color and this is why I can't express enough when I say this that using a gray or white screen for any form of application it's going to be a complete fail because it will not work at all all right so as you saw very easy to apply. Use a basic Wagner 250 or 150. That's what kind of remember what model number this one is. It's a standard sprayer. Anyone can use it. I don't like to use high-end sprayers, but compressors and, and hose feeders and all that stuff. Because again, you know, the customer may feel that, okay, in order for me to use that sprayer, I'm going to have to be a professional. We make it easy. This is basically a uh, $59 sprayer we pick up at Amazon. You can pick them up at Home Depot. You pick them at Lowe's. Very easy to use. Very easy to clean. So, like I said, not a very uh, expensive sprayer to begin with. Very easy to apply our technology. Now, this particular formula is a spray-on application only due to the fact that people are going to be spraying a lot of sculptures and designs with this to be able to transform it with our technology. And with the surface being in black, as you can see, we can change the color to any color we want, which we'll show you in these demonstrations. I did that with my computer cabinet. I made out of cardboard over there that even though it's all black, it looks boring, we can change the color to anything we want due to the fact this technology gives us the ability to read light, even through projector mapping. Now, if I were to do this with everyday black paint, we've got tons and tons of black versus black demonstrations showing the difference between our products and black paint, fabric, films, you name it, we have the most and pretty much, I'm pretty sure, the only on YouTube of showing our products versus other black services laying against our own products. You'll see in those demonstrations, your colors are not going to come up. Your contrast levels, of course, yes, but your white levels are going to be extremely, extremely poor. And this is going to be hard to do for some of you who like to do on projector mapping. You like to do those snowflakes, that snowstorm effect, which is pretty cool to look at. 
especially if you're doing a spear, they're pretty cool to look at. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be a complete fail. I had somebody already come in and say, well, what happens if I just paint it with everyday black paint? This is what's gonna happen. This is literally what you're gonna pick up. So once this is all dry, we'll be good to go. All right, hope you enjoy. Thank you for your time. And of course, we thank our Lord and Savior because if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have this or none of the technology we developed. Gotta go and God bless.